Hey, what's, hey, what's, what's up, up dog? Dog? The intros are always so fucking... Let's go. Yeah, we always try these two to three times, and the I... Intros. The one right before this, I was super hyped up, and I said, what's going on? And Toast said like this. I just didn't know who you were talking to. I thought, Dude, I thought you're the only bed. one here, dog. Me and Archie, like, me and Archie's fuck here. would I be talking to? Anyways. Archie is there. Archie is there. You're right. All right. So we're hopping into the river. We're gonna we got a good tube talk episodes today. We're gonna oh, discuss yeah. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. I yes, was hoping sir. you said that at the same time. So do it again. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> I I'm excited. Thanksgiving is an underrated holiday. It's in the air. It kind of sucks it's as next an week. adult knowing you're going like next week is Thanksgiving week, but you still have to work. And oh like, yeah, kids yeah, yeah. are gonna be off. I have some friends that are some friends that are teachers, and they're like, "Oh, I get off all next week," and I'm like, "It will be nice." You know, what I'm saying yeah. like, "Dog, I wish that was me," but I guess some of us got to make some paper. Well, it's you usually you just go Monday, Tuesday, so it's a short week. So I, I mm-hmm. get excited about that, dude. I have to work. Uh, Shit, Wednesday too. People work Wednesdays, Monday. Yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday. dude. I have to work Wednesday and Friday. Friday, a, that right dude, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I know that I'm talking right. about a new job, and I was excited until I figured out what holidays were like. I don't know why people. Why, I don't know why they make people work on Fridays. I I, I don't, don't either, know. to be honest, because it, you must not. I mean, money. if my company is watching, I'm gonna be super productive. But if they're not, then I'm gonna be fucking doing nothing, dog. I'm gonna be fucking yeah. harvesting well, I guess, food, baby. You know, relaxing. This is a good time to announce that we're not going to have an episode next week. Uh, I'm sorry to let the fans down. (laughs) I know. Y'all are waiting for it. Y'all probably can't sleep. The next episode's going to be juicy. I will say that. But y'all are going to have to give us a week. One week. uh, ATO and Baby D. And Baby D. Relax. Relax. (laughs) We'll be back in one week, dog. (laughs) All right. Um, So let's move on to our next session. Next session. Uh, Toast, what are we going to talk about first off before we hit the... I heard. Before we hit the I heard, what's today's topic? We just talked about Thanksgiving. Like That's that's what we're talking oh, about. Oh, we did. Yeah, I'm tripping. Okay. <laughs> we well, talk- hey. Uh, <laughs> I'm so excited. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, yeah, yeah. it's in the air. I was like, I was I'm like, excited. Why don't we, I don't think we decided the, the next topic for the next episode. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're also <laughs> going to talk about Friendsgiving. If that adds, yeah, well, you know... We'll, we'll, if that makes me less wrong. Yeah. No, no, no. We'll, we'll sprinkle in some Friendsgiving. Oh, and then at the end of the episode, we're going to have a um, food, best Thanksgiving foods draft. So oh, yeah, be exciting. So, it's going to be juicy. <laughs> All right. Let's move on. So. Arr, Arr. Bro. What happened? What happened? All right. This week, this weekend. <laughs> We got Formula One Zoom. in Las Vegas. Zoom. I'm I'm pumped, dude. It's I'm gonna pumped. be fun, man. I know a lot of people are, you know, are are, are pessimist pessimistic about it. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. Max Verstappen already is is crowned the world champion, so they're not competing for the world champion anymore. Uh, I mean, I think I think Red Bull is gonna win the most points. I don't know. I, I to be honest. We're not we're not F one fans. I'm not an F one fan we're by not any F1 means, fans. but I will say I support I, Mexico in anything they fucking do. Checo Perez. Checo Set, Perez in this shit. Sergio, you know what I'm Checo saying? Perez. No. Yeah, dude. You literally see Mexicans just rocking Red Bull stuff everywhere you go. And mm-hmm. yeah, no, yeah, it's it's a proud thing, man. Like, dude, we're not the best in a lot of things. You don't see us in the NFL, you don't see us in the NBA. We know we're sprinkled in there, but we're not I'm the, best, the best. We're like I said, <laughs> we're sprinkled in there. We're sprinkled in yeah. there. We're not the best of the best. But what yeah. I will say is whenever we do shine, we support who shines. And that's in boxing, MMA. And now mm-hmm. we have fucking F1, which is one of the richest, you know, like more like predominant, low bougie oh, sports. 100%. Yeah. And I was like, oh, dude, I don't know anything about F1. And yeah, then they're I like, think- a Mexican's the best at it. I was like, I like F1. You know, <laughs> yeah, he's been falling off, but but I mean, there's different ways. I mean, there's a world champion, right? Like the the guy that wins the most races, and the, yeah. there's team the the teams win based on on how many races they win, first, second, third. So there's prize money for the teams for 
Uh, so Max and Czech are teammates and they race for Red Bull. Um, F1, you know, gained a lot of popularity during the pandemic because of the show uh, Drive to Survive. But yeah, back to the Vegas. So people are, aren't really excited about it. Also, because it's one of the most expensive races. It's How insane. so? I don't get that. Like, what? It's what insane. Is... It's expensive, dude. It's like like for, to attend or like to attend to for attend the city. Dude. Okay, to attend, dude. Like, don't count lodging. Don't count food. Don't count the flights. It's the shit that matters. The shit that matters. Don't count all that. <laughs> the only shit that I fucking factor into my budget, bro. Dude, the tickets went down by fifty percent, and the cheapest ticket that I could find was eight fifty. Eight hundred and fifty. Does it? <laughs> I Dude, guess we differ. That is insane. No, that's actually very expensive. That is insane. And honestly, I heard the live experience of those races isn't even that fun. So, like you literally see them exactly, and, that's it. and then you go fucking back to talking. And that's it. But I don't know. I think um, I'm excited because of the track. It's like on the Vegas Strip. They're closing it. That down. is pretty badass. Yeah, that's pretty. That pretty that's badass. like a video game, like Gran Turismo, or or uh, especially you know, like, with the new orb, dude. In the dude, background, the, yeah, the little that's fucking sphere. So yeah, dude, and, they, dude, and it's going through badass. like the whole like through the hotels on the Strip. I think it's gonna be cool. But again, a lot of people are like aren't excited about it. It's too expensive. Max already won. What the fuck are they racing for? Um, it's supposed to be the coldest F one race ever in history. Coldest? The coldest. In Vegas? In Vegas, because they're doing it at one uh at one AM. Which Why? makes sense. I I I'm not I mean, sure. I'm not a fucking scientist. I, no. I generally don't know why. What are you asking why is it cold or why are they doing it at one? No, I know it's cold because it's desert. Yeah. But so I, but, but why is it at night? Is it to like please the fucking European crowds or what? No, I th- I, I honestly think I, I need to double check, but I think it's because uh they're doing it on the strip, so there's no traffic at that time because it's the main Smart. street, you know, yeah, let's cl- yeah, yeah. Let's, if we're going to close the street, let's close it during the time where it's not going to be that busy, you know? Mm, that, yeah. That's yeah, my you're guess. Right. But me... I mean, it's expensive, dude. And I'm actually like thinking about it. I'm actually like, fuck dude, let me just take a little fucking after pay or, <laughs> or Klarna or one of those. Don't do it. <laughs> buy a ticket and go and just hang out a weekend there. But dude, it's so expensive. I'd have to find, uh, somewhere to stay, the food, it's ridiculous. And then they fucking covered all the pedestrian uh, walkways so that people that didn't pay for it when they're walking through the strip or, or, or crossing the bridges, they can't get a sneak peek of the race, which I think it's kind of cool because every time I go to like to a baseball game or something – and I see someone watching the game for free. I'm like, man, what the fuck? What are, what are Get out of here, broken <laughs> motherfucker. You know what I'm nah. saying? Well, like San Diego Padres. If uh, I think, remember when we went, when yeah, we went, yeah. went to go watch Feed Man, the, the, the fucking lops behind the stadium have like a. They had the, best had the best fucking view of view, the entire bro. stadium, dude. I was like, God damn. The and they get to experience money? that shit year round. I feel dude. like honestly, it would get a little annoying after a little bit just because yeah. you're seeing every fucking band and, you know, some bands you might not like, but. But you know. get that, 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 loud, that, you loud, see, yeah. that noise pollution. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm, make, I'm excited for the race. I just think it's a, it's a that cool That would be circuit. badass, man. Yeah. This I wish if lot. I had money, I would definitely fucking go. Because, I, I mean, Vegas with dude, the boys this, and some races. Dude. The circuit, that's another thing. People don't like the circuit. They say it's it's not that entertaining. Whatever. I mean, I'm all about the NASCAR, baby. We just go to the left. Turn <laughs> left, turn left. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But circle but around, to, bro. To if you, you ain't first, saying, you're last. To what you were saying, though, uh, being one of the richest sports, I mean, it's totally true. Oh, it's I, Illuminati uh, money in there, bro. Dude, insane. I was, um, there's a guy on Reddit or TikTok, one of those sites. Um, they track like all the, the private jets. And yeah, they, yeah. They came out with, have you seen that? They came out with a calendar where all the private jets go throughout the year through all the big art hubs and, like a, a few F1 races are, are are on that calendar. Uh, Monaco being one of the biggest ones. Monaco is the one I always hear about. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah. I mean, you. I think if Monaco was the one that was in Iron Man, right? Like Iron Man 2 or like 3, like I don't, the original ones. I think I it was it, but bro. I don't watch uh, Marvel that, movies. Yeah, okay. Oh, but but it, it was on the Adam Sandler uh, murder mystery. Mm, Monaco? They, yeah. Wasn't that shit set in the northeast of America? 
Or am I tripping? Murder mystery? You're, yeah, you're tripping. They they do it in Monaco and in, in Italy. Anyways. Never mind. But, like, they, they follow all these private jets. Monaco is probably the big one. And I heard it's yeah. also, like, the, a, a shitty circuit because it's small and whatever. Also, um, the Super Bowl is on there. Uh, like, all these, like, Yacht Week and, like, Czech Republic. Worst like, Fest? Is it Czech? No, Croatia. Croatia. Czech, <laughs> Czech is not even near near body of ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Croatia's yacht week, uh, you know stuff. Worst like that. fans, bro, all the ballers for yeah, like, yeah, right. Worst fans, all the millionaires fly down I was to there, the dog. Dude, I actually, you know how they pl- track the private jets? They yeah. were tracking my car for some reason, dude. They're, they're, they're tra- <laughs> I saw, I saw a little Mazda symbol flying in and out. I was like, yeah. oh shit, that's me, bro. That's worsties. Yeah, they they they, they track your car doing laps yeah. around worst fans <laughs> going back yeah, to Airbnb. Dog. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So, so we'll see how the race goes. Uh, it's it's supposed to be unique. So you know, let's let's just enjoy it. And no, yeah, dude. I I hope it is good. I hope. I mean, I Checo. already know let's, Max let's won, but you know, what I'm saying I do hope uh, Checo. Mexican Checo. succeeds. Checo. Mexicans, Mexicans. All right. All right. All right. But uh, toast. Yes, sir. I heard, bro. You I heard. heard. What'd you hear? All right. So. Theo Vaughn, one of the funniest comedians. We you and him. me saw him live. We in met him. LA. Yeah, dude, I have a we picture a and a video of me talking to him. So it gives him so much more credibility. But we know him. Uh, he We're was having a, a a podcast with Dana White, the mm. CEO, yep. the, you know, the head honcho of the UFC, yep. also the slap fights, everything. You know, he's he a big person. Oh, yeah, he's he always does. hanging out with Trump and shit like that. And they're having Joe a podcast Reagan. and they're talking about cancel culture. And mm. it gets brought up that one of the sponsors tried to kind of silence Theo Vaughn for bringing Robert F. Kennedy um, on the podcast. And, you know, Dana White's kind of always like against Kendall culture, you know, whoop do whoop do whoop. Um, but he's like, who what was the sponsor? What was the sponsor? And at the time, Theo Vaughn couldn't think of it. He was like, oh, shit. And then Dana was like, oh, you're protecting the sponsor. And he literally like he was like, he I guess he asked his assistant to find out who it was. But like 10 minutes later. He comes up and the t- uh, the assistant was like, oh, it was Peloton that was a sponsor that was telling you to cancel the fucking episode. And they Jesus. get wind of it, dude. They get wind of it. And Dan White's like, oh, shit, Peloton did that shit? And then they- I guess they're they're doing the podcast at Dana White's facility for the UFC. Uh-huh. And he looks over and he says, what are those bikes? And I guess he has like 10 or 20 of them. And they're like, oh, those are Peloton. He's like, get them out. Put them in the trash right now. And yeah, yeah, dude. And dude, if you see it right now, it's all over the news. Yeah, it is. Peloton's dropping. And yeah, dude, like, it's kind of crazy, bro. But like, yeah, sometimes when brands are too political, bro, like, I'm not saying what he did was right or whatever, but I do, I do like seeing someone with money stand up to these brands that are like, okay, you can't do this. Yeah. You can't do that. You can't talk to this political person. Do you know, it's do like, you know, dude, what, was it put out there why they didn't want Robert uh, Kennedy Jr. to, talk no or? they didn't they didn't explain it they just they go what, what they what deal Vaughn said was that it ruined his day because they didn't tell him they just said we don't want that episode on just take us off the podcast or take down the video and then you know dana white's a billionaire by now and he's like yeah. doesn't stand up to anyone's bullshit especially about well, political it's, it's, reasons it's you know you hear a lot of uh freedom fighters a lot of defendants for the second yeah. amendment don't but tread the, on me yeah but the first amendment dude you know the right of freedom of speech dude you got to protect oh that, i stand 100 percent by it dude because you see like what i'm not sure if you saw but like canada's passing a law that uh for uh every podcast above a certain viewer count or if it's about a certain topic it has to go through the government so no, you can't speak dude, about a certain subject unless it goes through the government and it's government approved and i'm like dude that kind of blows because they could obviously censor whatever the fuck they want dude, to censorship and sucks. it sounds so like tinfoil and shit like that but dude i'm proud to be from america you know what i'm saying america. first amendment bro no, dude, the you first know what i'm saying they protect what the fuck you are. some people say some dumb ass shit don't get and me that, wrong and that's cool and they're not that's ever cool. like always right but dude that's like the right so many people fucking fought yeah. that for to like I fucking think, yeah, be like, stupid as fuck. I, I think it's I think it's cool that you know we live in a country where you can put whatever you you want even if you're not qualified. Uh, yeah, I mean, dude, stuff. imagine this podcast it, in Canada. So, 
Dude, you know, the they, Canadian government would have shut this bitch down yeah, for being too but, badass. But, but, you know, there are some repercussions. Like, you know, if we get, you know, somebody like Alex Jones who went on and started spreading false shit. Okay, I mean, yeah. Obviously, yeah, yeah there's, there's, there's limits to everything. It can't just be yeah. free range, you know? But but I think, you know, people should be able to speculate and, and put, put stuff out there. And, I mean, dude, I mean, what kind of country would be if that that's not allowed? And, you know, my, I, I you know... A lot of people always ask me, "Oh, do you lean left or blue or whatever or left? Do you lean left, left or, right? or right? Yeah, no, that's, yeah, yeah. that's or right. Red. Oh, sorry, I meant to say red or blue. And, yeah. and honestly, it doesn't matter. Like it does matter, but at the end of the day, I I, I do like some of the the. I, I lean in the middle, just in case if you're wondering. I lean, yeah. I'm more blue than red. But cancel them, everybody. Cancel them. <laughs> I'm never watching tube talks in my life. No, dog. tube talks canceled. No, uh, but, but I think, like I said, like I said earlier, like some people are really all for the second. I'm all about the first dude. You just can't silence anyone, dude. I mean, I mean the federalist papers that were published back in 1700. I bet. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. yeah. We all know what you're talking about, bro. Yeah, but, but, you know, stuff like that put in put in content like that can be very enlightening and very informative. Uh, but again, I, I mean, I also don't believe everything that I hear. You know. Yeah. So. I mean, you're I talking think, about amendments. What's the twenty first you know, amendment? You know, you know, I, I don't know. The twenty first is uh, drinking. It's about prohibition. The, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I only know because of the drinking age. Yeah. yeah eighteen. Eighteen banned it, and twenty one brought it back. You brought it That's back, baby. I'm all about twenty one. You know 21, what I'm saying? Eight, eight, eight. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> you do some for me. But yeah, brands shouldn't like. I don't think no one should tell someone not to say something. You know. Yeah, absolutely. whether it's whether it's a brand, whether it's a company or, or organization, stuff like that. Yeah, why, dude. Why when you go just... buy a fucking stationary bike, you don't think, hey, uh, what side are they voting on? You know what I'm saying? You're just like, I want to get a bike to exercise on. The funny, the funny shit is. Um, who is he? Dana White. Dana White, Dana White is yeah, fighting UFC. cancel culture with cancel culture. <laughs> with fucking Bud Light, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. One of the well, main well, like, sponsors. The I mean, yeah, that too. But like, as of right yeah, now, he brought in Bud Light as a main uh, beer for the UFC. And if y'all know anything about Bud Light, Bud Light got canceled for having a Wait, trans spokesman is... person. So Bud Light is at the UFC event. Bud Light is one of the UFC like official UFC sponsors. Even though they he got, took him even... off within the la- within the last month. Oh, he took him out already. No, no, no. He they're part of it. He brought him in, is what I meant to say. He brought Bud Light in as one of the main sponsors, and you know it, it might be. But even though, even Bud though, Light. even though, like the rest of the the South, I guess. Or a, a oh, dude, or... yeah. The other day I was drinking a Bud Light at my homie's engagement party, and they're like. Hmm. I wonder who you're gonna get engaged to, and I was like, "No, oh, dude, no." What's I just like Pfizer? the beer. Pfizer's another one. Like if people like people are, are, are roasting Travis Kelsey for for being the Pfizer spokesman. I mean, it's, it's, are you talking about the crazy. the the pharmaceutical company Pfizer? Yeah, because he's, he's oh he's Travis Kelsey's part. I mean, bro, he's after Taylor Swift. No shit, yeah. he's also after another bag, dog. This dude's dude. a money chaser, dude. But, but but if you go to his like, if there if someone always like, whenever like a news outlet puts something out about Travis Kelsey, you'll see a lot of comments on there like, "Oh, Pfizer boy over here" or shit like that, dude. Ah, oh, man, it's a crazy world we live in, dude. But I will back him up. I'm taking you, the bag, bro. I'm taking the bag, dog. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. especially if it's in the millions, bro. I'll He's get double very jabbed up guy. for that shit. Yeah, 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 no, I'm on that shit. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah I'm. I, uh, that that's some crazy shit, though. That's some crazy shit. Uh, no, nah, it is. It it's crazy, man. And we'll see where that goes. But yeah, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll cancel see. culture is. Uh, I don't know. Everyone's canceling each other. Hopefully, we don't get canceled. I don't think we will. We're pretty in the middle. We're pretty. Cool no, guys, I, I mean man. it's in, on our. We should have a legal disclaimer. Actually, I was thinking about this the other day. Well, let's put a legal like a le- legal disclaimer before or after the podcast saying, hey, like we're just two dudes joshing around. We don't. Oh, no, I, I actually not speak for my company. Any company I'm working <laughs> at right now, I reflect the values. I reflect every opinion from the CEO down to the CEO. You know what I'm saying? Whoop, dee, whoop, dee, whoop. They told me to speak my mind. And that's literally what my company thinks about. So if you have a problem, go cancel my company. 
Hopefully I get unemployed <laughs> and get a severance package. We'll see where that goes. Uh, I uh, I wouldn't. This is not the same for me. Don't. Oh, no. 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 Sell out. Cancel yeah, toes. No. Cancel <laughs> toes, bro. Dude, if I was Dana yeah. White, I'd have you kicked out, dog. I'd bring, Baby out DNA. I'd bring Baby D in as your replacement, dog. No, yeah, no, dude. That that's such a such a crazy thing. I was just talking about that too because the guy of um, Stranger Things, Noah, the guy that plays well. Oh um, yeah, yeah, he he's on some hot shit right now uh, for voicing for his opinions about uh, um, Israel Palestine, and Israel? Palestine. Yeah. yeah, and so you know people are are calling out netflix to cancel the show stranger things oh my god such a good show i hope that doesn't get canceled. i don't know what the fuck he said but i'm like bro he said some pretty crazy shit uh i i don't have all the information to you know spread this shit i don't want to spread false shit you know i don't want to get canceled either yeah but, uh, <laughs> watch he's spreading <laughs> misinformation bro they're like you fucking know, cancel two dogs, bro? don't get who the fuck gave us a <laughs> these motherfuckers should not have microphones, bro. Take microphones away from all this Latin whole, this, men. This whole portion, like the, the this the last five minutes, bro. So I don't know. All right, yeah, fuck it, whatever. Yeah, gonna come let's, up. let's move. Let's move. Let's let's go to the topic. Uh, <laughs> let's go to something that's not controversial. Thanksgiving. Shout out to the pilgrims. Shout out to the Native Americans. That's fucking controversial, right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying, dog. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with something here. I kind of like Friendsgiving more than Thanksgiving. It's the same shit. Is it? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? I, yes, bro. It's see, just for a, Friendsgiving. For Friendsgiving, it's not a whole de- like a whole day thing. For Friendsgiving, it's like, hey, we're gonna meet at this place for this hour, and I it's quicker. Like, I feel like it's quicker. It's faster. Mm, Thanksgiving, yeah. like it's a whole day. It's at your house or your, your aunt's house or wherever. Yours is a uh, whole day. Ours, we just go and eat. Really? Eat for like two, three hours. My parents. I talk. guess it feels more like a like a chore or like a errand. We're doing it is. It is because you can't make any plans that day because we exactly. have to be with your family. You have to fucking do and, this and friendsgiving. And that. It's just you know when everyone like let's do it this day and it's with your boys, your homies. It's with the boys. Oh, I'm thankful and everyone gets fucked up. And I'm thankful for y'all, bro. <laughs> You can't do that shit at a fucking Thanksgiving, dog. There's like, oh, I think I'm maybe thankful. that's what it is. Maybe like you're more, you're more loose. You're able to be actually thankful, bro. Over yeah. there, you're being fucking conservative. Like, oh shit, I can't get fucking eight shots. I can't, deep. I can't fucking shotgun a beer. <laughs> yeah, dude, <laughs> mom, I'm cousins. thankful for this beer. What the fuck, you know, God. <laughs> <laughs> so Look, let me be. Now that we're on the subject, Friendsgiving. Uh, what is your um, what is your favorite dish to bring? What do you bring, dude? Don't say cups because um, I'm gonna be so pissed. No, I'm. I'm not I hate people guy. that bring cups, dude. Yeah, fuck cups. I bring plates. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, dude. Who the fuck drinks cups, bro? Get a handful, bro. Drink out the bottle, you child. Damn. No, um, I am not gonna lie, dude. The last couple of years, I have been the guy. That brings H E B rotisserie chickens to fucking Friendsgivings. And I've had a year where the turkey was shit and people ate my chicken. I will say that every other year I get to take my chicken home. So it's honestly a win-win, bro. If you bring the turkey and everyone eats it, or the chicken and everyone eats it, you're the cool guy. I think if no one eats it, you get to take them home, bro. Fuck off. I have meal prep fucking chicken the rest of the week. Yeah, I think it's one of those. Um, if you can cook, cook something. But if you're gonna cook something, it should better be good, bro. Don't bring some some recipe you saw and you're like, I think I can make it, and then you make it. And yeah, it I saw shit on ass. TikTok. Don't, yeah, don't fucking do that, dude. Don't, I, especially right motherfuckers now. Motherfuckers, motherfuckers bringing aki sandwiches to fucking Thanksgiving because <laughs> they saw it on TikTok. No don't forget sa- the bev. <laughs> no, no aki sandwiches. And then we had the turkey. You know. Yeah, no, none of that, dude. Um, if, you're gonna, if you're gonna bring something, make sure you know how to cook it. Uh, if you don't know how to cook, you know, um, always go with the old classic of ordering something out and putting it in a pan, pretending you cooked it. <laughs> I will say, dude, if I, I, anyone like brings, some, like, go ahead. I was gonna say, like, some people like will bring the the mac and cheese from uh, 
Chick Fil A, <laughs> but put it in a in a, in a pan, in a tin foil it. fucking pan. Damn, type this shit is good. Dang, Damn. this whole tastes exactly like Chick Fil A. And like family bro, recipe, me. yeah, family <laughs> recipe, dog, family recipe. Yeah. <laughs> or or if you can't cook like me, pies. Go get some pies. People are gonna love the pies. You know what I mean? A cake maybe. Yeah, Cookies, pies. I desserts, feel like desserts. I feel like everyone's usually too full to eat a pie, or at least I am. I don't but know. The, if the, but the, but people are gonna people are gonna eat them. No, I agree. You're right. You're right. Pies people are good. They have to be like pumpkin pie. Don't bring fucking like apple pie. That's to be a good like pie too. Lame. Yeah, bring what? Yeah, apple. Yeah, don't bring apple. All right, bring well, 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 we're gonna talk a little bit more about dishes in a bit, but um, okay. Uh, yeah, plates. If you're the plate guy, I hate you. Don't bring, don't just plate, be plate guys, guy. bro. Those are the don't be those the, cup are the guy. kids and bring beer. Yeah. Br- fucking bring a case of beer. Don't just bring the fucking cups. That would be so much better than fucking silverware, um, dude. I don't know, man. Anything, it's something, and those are the first those the the first motherfucker that I will say. I wish I was a silverware guy, but it's always that first motherfucker. I'll oh, bring plates, and they sign up for cutlery. You know what I'm saying? They bring all the good shit. Or not yeah. even good shit, bro. They bring fucking dollar store fucking cutlery, man. Yeah, not it's even not, that it's good. Not red like, solo cups. They, everyone fucking thing. digs into the hard ass turkey, tries to snap it back, bro. You're just left with a handle, bro. The fucking <laughs> the, the rest of the forks in the turkey, dog. Like, bro, if you're gonna yeah. be the silverware guy, ball out on some fucking what's a good brand? You know, a good like hefty. I don't even know like the hefty brands. Yeah, but hefty, hefty's a good get, brand. Get a good brand, you know what I'm saying? Or get some good plates because don't, don't sometimes stand, you'll yeah. bring the plate and then like the gravy's dripping from the bottom. Don't like, cheap the out, grease. dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Th- this ain't the time to be frugal. This ain't the time yeah, to dude. save an extra buck. Dude, we don't want <laughs> fucking plastic where that collapse and shit and then you know, fucking break the fucking spoon just trying to take a bite of your mac and cheese or your mashed yeah. potatoes. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> So this is this is always an interesting debate with my friends. What time do you eat Thanksgiving dinner? Because I'm used to eating dinner. Like it's Thanksgiving dinner. It should be yeah. around dinner time, six or seven. But some of my friends, white my white friends. I was um, gonna say I what, what I'm not even trying to be racist. You know what I'm saying? They what? eat earlier. They eat at and like twelve. They're like, I'm having Thanksgiving lunch. I'm like, bro, it is. I feel like yeah, Mexicans yeah, don't eat all day because the kitchen's but, being used all day to be able to fucking make all the food for the rest of the day, bro. But but one time, one time, one year or two years, I might have done it. It's a fucking. It's it's. I'm not gonna lie. It's badass because you have the rest of the afternoon and evening to process and digest to get more the, food <laughs> and then if you get hungry later you get more food but dude eat at 11 12 get all stuck oh you're out. out dude you can't take even a little enjoy nappy. any black friday sales dude dude take you a little overslept nap- all the ps5s are gone watch all a the ten dollar tvs are gone no 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 but look, look, look you you eat at 11 12 you take a little nap maybe watch a game have a few brewskis buy Take a block down the street, maybe a few blocks. Then uh, four or five, you're feeling lighter again. You already started moving the, the food in your body. Like, and I'm like, you know what? Thanksgiving dinner. They have a be, point. It should be a Thanksgiving lunch. It should be. But Thanksgiving- if, you, if, you, if you think about it, they've had so much more experience, especially you and me. I mean, you said your parents would be. My parents are first generation. We're this our first yeah. go. Yeah. There's our first I, go at Thanksgiving, dog. I feel I like think, every other Mexican, like if you go to a fucking New Year's, if you go to Christmas, we're eating late, dude. We're so eating I, late. Th- this is this is my um, my cultural observation. A new segment we like to call cultural observations with toast. Okay. With toast. Uh, <laughs> no, but I feel for Hispanics, right? Because it's not a Mexican holiday. It's it's not a holiday that we celebrate. In in Central America, South America, yeah, Mexico, like we don't we don't celebrate this, right? So we use this as an excuse to 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 gather, and I like to call Thanksgiving in, in these communities in Hispanic communities the practice Christmas because that's the show. So what I mean by that, I, I, yeah, I elaborate more. What on I that. mean, elaborate okay. more on that. So what I mean is, it's like the first uh, <laughs> run 
of what the Christmas party is going to be like. Yeah, so you, yeah. You, yeah. You, you you tweak those. You 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 do those recipes. Um, you 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 just give it a try. You want to try a new dish? Fuck it, try the new dish. I remember one year, uh, buffalo chicken dip was like a thing. You experiment. You, you want to try some stuff. Uh, you start calculating the room in your house. Are we all going to fit in this room? Maybe let's fucking find out. So it's like a yeah. dry run. It's like a. It's like a. All right, let's let's get ready. Uh, for, let's get ready for Christmas. But uh, it's 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 a pre. It's like not a pregame, but it's like the the dry run. You know what I mean? And no, so that's from there, actually a great observation. So from there, you 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 do the Thanksgiving dinner. You invite everyone, uncles, tias, everybody. They they eat, they leave, they tell you what they like, they tell you what they don't like, you make notes. Okay, for Christmas we're gonna do this. For Christmas, we're not gonna do this. Uh make sure Unless it's that the, yeah, that's a bitch and always criticizes. <laughs> oh, make sure we have you. more coolers cause cause Thanksgiving yeah. we didn't have enough of this. So it's like a little dry run, I think, for me. That's that's the way I seen it. And I think uh, 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 there might be some truth to that. I, I agree with that. That's a great observation. Uh but I will say uh, even if it fails or anything, um it's I don't think forget- my family's food fa- uh, like misses for the most part just because we cook the same shit every year. Especially yeah. being Mexicans, we have tamales, bro. We have you know a little bit of fucking pozole. We have it's just Mexican shit, and then we'll we'll throw in a ham, we'll throw in a turkey, throw a little ham, a little bit of corn. A little yeah, bit of we we potatoes. we've acculturated to the states, and and now yeah. for Thanksgiving, I am expecting a turkey. I am expecting <laughs> mashed potatoes and green beans and yeah, and, and dude, I be getting and... mad. I'm like, mom, these mashed potatoes are dry, and I also think, oh, my mom didn't grow up making. Mashed do you potatoes. do you get mad? Do you get mad if you show up to a Thanksgiving dinner? And it's just pozole and maybe fucking tamales and it's, it's Hell Christmas no, bro. That no? shit's fucking gas. I, mean, I will is, say, I do want a little bit. But if I do want some you, mackie. But if I tell you, hey, Jose, come over for, for, for Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah. And in your head, you're already thinking turkey, the fucking stuffing, all that shit. You get Tomatoes, there and potatoes. <laughs> and then you get there and it's, it's tamales, pozole. I mean, I wouldn't be furious, but I'd be like, "Damn, I, I kind of was expecting turkey." Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I used to, I, as a kid a growing little, up, it'd be a little let down. I always used to be because I mean, you grow up Mexican, bro, and then you see all your yeah. like actual like I want to say actual Americans, but you see your like black a friends, your white friends. friends. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're over there talking about, oh, we had cranberry sauce, dude. I knew what cranberry sauce was till I got to college, bro. I was like, "What the fuck is cranberry yeah. sauce?" Yeah, and they're like, "Oh, we had cranberry sauce. You have to have stuffing." What the fuck is stuffing in a Mexican household? Dude, bro? the I first don't know time I had that shit, gas, so good. And it's one of those things where you eat it oh, once, and then dude. if your mom doesn't make it like the first time you ate it, it's like, mom, you gotta step it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're Mexican. You know what I'm saying? You gotta <laughs> appropriate. You know, you gotta start stepping it up, bro. You know. What about the what about football? Football. You already mm-hmm. know where I fucking stand on that shit, bro. It's Cowboys Day. Cowboys it's... come in. We clear the field. We make touchdowns. And then we go eat. It's, we usually it's... eat during or a little bit after. You know, I I, I, I don't like the Cowboys. I don't. But Cowboys season, I, baby. I can't deny that that's Cowboys and Lions. That Those are the days for, for Wait, Lions is it's their day too? Yeah, Lions, Lions and I Cowboys. I never are... even paid attention to that, man. Cowboys, Cowboys and the always... Lions are... No, Cowboys and the Lions are the both two teams that that have a Thanksgiving game. But now, I think within the last ten years, they added a third one, and those two are random teams. Yeah, so, I always, I always, because I remember as a kid growing up, it was always just the Cowboys. I guess, like I said, I didn't pay attention. I think, I think why the Cowboys fucking Lions? Lions? The Lions suck ass, bro. I think it's it's always been Cowboys and Lions. Uh, let me see history. Damn. Thanks, but it's man. nothing better, bro, than seeing all your fucking Dallas homies in a fucking Cowboys jersey with their families, bro. It's just a fucking Dallas tradition, man. Just everyone being in their fucking the, Cowboys. Does your gear. family have a, a like Thanksgiving uh football game? What do you like, mean? Like the cousins and everybody? Nah, dude. We honestly as a kid growing up, we used to be a lot tighter, but now it's just you like my direct family. Uh, everyone's just so busy, bro, and it's kind of hard like organizing with Mexicans because they're everyone always has conflicts, and we're all grown up now. But yeah, it's just the five of us. So according to this, it's always been a um, a thing since like the eighteen hundreds. It was done with like colleges with like 
Yo, in Princeton and Michigan and all these schools, uh, but it's evolved in the NFL and different teams have done it. But I think more so recently in, in the Super Bowl era, it's been the Cowboys since 1966. And uh, the Lions. What? Might... All right. Now, me being the Dallas hater that I am, what uh, what holiday do you think the Texans should have? Uh, Y'all should have like uh, Columbus Day or something like that. I don't know. It's Indigenous Day now. Oh, canceled. Shit. <laughs> Get this motherfucker off the podcast. Get him out. No, what what, what uh, would be I, the Texans? I think sometime something some something in December, just because the cowboy like the the cowboys, just because the Texans have like Christmassy colors like red and white. Okay, yeah, yeah like you know? uh, like around Christmas. I feel like maybe December twenty sixth. Because that's when yeah, everyone has to game. go to. That's when everyone has to go to work, and no one's fucking having a good time. And then seeing the fucking Texans lose again, that would be the cherry on top. You know what? I wasn't talking shit about the Cowboys this episode. <laughs> fuck, fuck the Cowboys. Let's go Cowboys. Fuck the Cowboys. Fuck the Cowboys. Let's go. Sorry, but no, 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 no denying it. Like when I think Thanksgiving football, I'm thinking, and it has been for the like the at least like the last fifteen years. I don't know what the record is, but I like I have good memories of the Cowboys losing those games. Mm, and it's always man. fun watching every Sunday. Whenever the Cowboys lose is always fun. It's a tradition like no other Stephen A. Smith's tweets of doing the laugh. I love it. I love it. We'll see how um, this here goes. Turkey trots. I hate turkey trots. <laughs> I hate them. I, I hate didn't know them. that was a thing, dog. I didn't know that was a thing. Turkey trucks. Till I got to like college, it, and they're like, "What's your family doing for fucking Thursday morning when everyone's supposed to be relaxing?" I'm like, turkey trucks. Relax dude. and watch movies. They're like, "You're not gonna work on a three three k or what's it called? The five k? It's a five k. Yeah, it's yeah. A 5K. Like, I just don't fuck, do no. What the fuck? So the turkey trot, you're supposed to, I guess, work up your hunger. I think it would make sense after Thanksgiving, right? Like a post. Burn it off, dude. Burn yeah. it off, right? That's that's all. I've been hungry. hungry for Thanksgiving for the last week, bro. I hate work. Dude. I don't eat well at work. I'm looking forward to my mom's meals, dog. I'm already dude. hungry. That's what Thanksgiving should be. You wake up, be in your PJs all day. That's another thing. Why do people dress up for Thanksgiving, bro? You should be. Everyone should wear sweatpants. Wait, like you know what I mean? The the Cowboys weight the, the waistbands. No. <laughs> But everyone should be comfortable, dude. Why do we dress up? Why? Yeah, and it's crazy, bro. Because like I said, it's just the five be- of us in our family, dude. And my sister takes three hours to get ready. We eat dinner and she goes to sleep, dude. And we always have to wait on my sister because she's doing her makeup. We're like, Claudia, come out to eat. I'm doing my <laughs> makeup. Yeah, dude. I'm like, bro, <laughs> hurry the fuck up. She comes out and heals. And then she stops her face and goes to sleep, bro. I'm like, why are you like, bro? Honestly, like, I see, you know, do it for yourself. I want you to look pretty, whatever. But, bro, it's us, bro. You don't have to impress us, bro. Pig out, man. But that's what Thanksgiving should be. You wake up, you wake up, wear your sweats all day, help out in the kitchen if you can. If you're if you're gonna be in charge of grilling or cooking, go for it. Drink your beer, watch some football, watch the Cowboys lose. And and then after dinner, after the lunch, work, you know, walk a little bit, walk down the block. Not that kind of walk where you tell your, Take, your yeah. family. That you <laughs> That's so corny. Oh, me and my cousins are going to go on a walk. Bro, I remember that was a, a meme for the yeah. longest. I love Thanksgiving because you and your cousins could go on a walk. I'm like, all right, bro, we get it. You smoke weed, bro. You're also Dude. 30, you know, <laughs> like, bro. Exactly. <laughs> and then uh, throughout the day, just munch, just munch. And then Friday... There should be like a Friday turkey trot. All right, Friday mm. we we feast it, we picked out. Go go. Maybe not even run it, just walk it. Everybody walk a five k, walk three so, miles. I you know agree. what I mean? Is you is your family a Black Friday family or no? Um, yes, I think uh, my mom used to be like when. Remember when Black Friday was like Black Friday, an like, actual thing? Yeah, like you like actually an actual got thing. good deals. Yeah, now it's like you get like ten percent off. What the fuck? Yeah, or fifty percent uh, off select items. You know, <laughs> like it's never yeah, anything good. What the fuck? Yeah, back when it was like Black Friday, Black Friday. Yeah, uh, but now it's Cyber Monday. I think it's better. Um, yeah, I'm not too much on doorbusters and waking up early. 
going yeah. to the mall. I'm I do. I, I will say I'm a, not a black Black Friday like night. I'm a Black Friday kind of morning. I also want to take advantage of those fucking deals. Go get a little fucking sure, you know, something nice to show off. But dude, no, wake like staying up till three in the morning. Fuck no, dude, to save 10 percent off. Keep that 10 percent. I'm fucking going to sleep. Do you remember that video when they tried doing uh, Black Friday in Europe <laughs> and they opened That's the store? A thing. Thing. That was a thing. Yeah, and they, they opened the store. I think it was like a Walmart or Best Buy. I don't know what it was. They opened the door thinking like the Europeans are like the, the I think it was in London. The English people were going to be like running through the door like Americans. And, and it's only like one or two people just like. <laughs> hey, <Jerry. Yeah. laughs> they walk in and they're so nice and polite and they're just looking around and no one else. And that's it. It's so fucking Dang. Funny. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I feel like Black Friday is one of the holidays that makes the rest of the world hate America for because it just kind of like really highlights the like consumerism. Those videos, like, man. Those videos that pop on. People getting ran Karen's. over. <laughs> yeah. Motherfuckers fighting for a toaster, bro. For five dollars off a toaster. It's it doesn't it doesn't I work, can't. man. I why, can't. I bro? Can't. Why? Um Okay, so um how long do you stay at someone's house after think soon? After you're done eating. Bro. How long? Dude, I'm the kind of person that wants to get the fuck out of there, dog. I don't like that's being out rude. of people's house. That's no, no, rude. not right after I eat. Not right after I eat. I'll let my mom talk. I'll let them gossip. I'll let my dad fucking, you know, stare at a fire with the fucking rest of the uncles. Be like, oh, this fire is good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but I want to get the fuck out of there, bro. I want to go home, watch movies, dog. Like, I love my family, bro. But I also, I only get fucking three days off, dog. I'm trying to go enjoy this shit at home, man. So I'm like, mom, wrap it up, bro. Wrap it up. You've been talking shit about these TS for the last ten years. It's not it's nothing's gonna change, bro. So yeah, and, yeah. Andrew's still single. He's not, Andrew's he's not still girlfriend. single, dog. Bro. <laughs> Let him be. You know? Yeah. No, but I feel like if it's if it's anyone else's house, I'll let it buffer 20, 30 minutes before we leave. If it's my house, once that fucking last round hits, get the fuck out, dog. Everybody get out, get bro. Because I hate, because my mom makes me entertain guests, bro. I can't be in my room because apparently it's rude to fucking enjoy your own house while other people are there. Did, so, did they, like, yeah, uh, I hate they, that they shit. They make you do like the Dougie or like the Stinky, like, hey, Jose, show them the little dance. They like, used to do that, that shit, <laughs> dude. When I fucking learned the Soldier Boy, I said Soldier Boy, I said Soldier Boy. Bro, yo. Great. Bro. <laughs> Everywhere, dog. I was just, I was like Soldier Boy Turkey, dog. Dude, I was a turkey boy, bro. No That's cap, so man. I That's hate so that my funny. mom knew. I fucking knew the Soldier Boy, bro, because all my aunts wanted to see the Soldier Boy after that, dog. And yeah, dude, I'd be fucking. <laughs> but then I would do it without like any motivation. I stick them with the, and then she'd make me like redo the Soldier Boy with heart and, and soul. Soldier Boy. Yeah, and then they bullshit, always want the music dude. too. Yeah. I yeah, always went to, all right, ready, play. <laughs> and you know what's funny, dog? I, cause I remember we uploaded it in sixth grade to YouTube. Yeah. And I was like, dude, it was like two years ago. I was like, dude, let me see if I can find this fucking YouTube video. And I fucking found it, dude. It's, still it's my cousin. It's Andrew's older brother, Aaron. And I'm in the garage and they, my sister had this lame ass fucking kickback and there was a strobe light. And I told, I walked up to my cousin. And I was like, can you record me doing the soldier boy in front of the, <laughs> in front of the strobe light, dude? And then it's just me. And this, the, dude, dude, yeah, it's so cringe, though. Is the video still up? You got to send me the link. Yeah, dude. No, dude. Send I, I some I remember tweeting about it. I was like, look at me. I just found my soldier boy video and people I'm like gonna, dropped the link. I was like, fuck no, dude. I gotta, I, I'm going to look for it now. I'm gonna <laughs> look for it. You can look for it, bro. It's hard to find, dude. I just knew exactly what to type in and... The day send the link. Like send the that. link. I won't put it out. <laughs> I'll uh, actually try to find it. I'll show you. I'll show well, you. Bro. Well, we'll put a poll out on Spotify. Uh, if you go on the Spotify app on the bottom of the video, should it Jose drop the Soldier Boy video should from Jose sixth grade? Drop the Soldier Boy. Video I don't know, man. I don't want to break hearts. I really don't want to break hearts, man. Say if y'all want okay. me to, I will. All right, so let's let's do. I'm I'm, I'm getting hungry. Let's let's do the. Uh, Best food dishes, best Thanksgiving food dishes, meals, whatever. Draft, you get four picks. I get four picks. You went first last time. I will go first this go time. Ahead. 
Oh, you're gonna take. I will the start this ones. off. I will start this off with the turkey, dude. If you don't have a turkey, it ain't a Thanksgiving meal, dog. If you don't have the turkey, you don't have that protein. Pause. It ain't good. It ain't good, dude. It ain't even Thanksgiving, dude. If you have the fucking rotisserie chicken but no turkey, cancel it. Cancel it is it. Friendsgiving to me. <laughs> she is tasty to me. <laughs> sorry, pause. Time out. One. Sorry. I think what I like too about Thanksgiving, uh, Friendsgiving, is that it's not like not everyone celebrating Friendsgiving, so a lot of shit is open. So someone, someone will bring something random like a box of Taco Bell. Or or something random like a like a bucket of chicken from 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 KFC, which is I'm oh all for that it. always I'm all for hits, it. bro. I'm, I'm all for it. I love that shit, dog. Yeah. yeah, and and during Thanksgiving, you know, all the, all the places are closed, so no, you don't have that. But okay, <laughs> go go with your first and second pick. My my first and second pick, I would have to say ham. I'm a ham boy. Get a little Damn, bit of pineapple. Two proteins. Get the pli- yeah, I know. I love With that pineapple? shit. Yeah, dude. And then also mashed potatoes, dude. Me and my mom, bro, I always help my mom make the mashed potatoes. It's the one that requires at least, you know, brain power. And yeah, dude. Yeah, I well, you can have mom. mashed potatoes. You- Okay, there's a sentiment to you t- with mashed potatoes. You can yeah, help yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, mom. you could always have mashed potatoes no, uh, with other meals, with, with, with Sunday roast or... But mashed potatoes and reheated, like, ham... You can't beat that, dog. You can't. I don't know. You can but recreate you can have, it. You could have. You could have. You could have mashed potatoes anytime. Though. That's what I'm saying. I guess yeah, the same absolutely. thing with turkey, but it's I, turkey's iconic to it. So with my second pick, I'm going with stuffing. And if you have a killer stuffing, that just makes it better, dude. Like that's Thanksgiving right there. I that, don't know, dude. The stuffing, dude. Like I said, when I else still you never stuffing? eat stuffing. I only eat stuffing when I'm hanging out with my white friends, bro. Like when else, my when... mom still doesn't make stuffing, dude. I still get pissed at her. I'm like, mom, make dude. stuffing. But then I'm also the motherfucker not cooking, so it's kind of hard to make demands whenever you're not yeah, you, contributing. Yeah, when you're not doing shit. Yeah, I'll uh, do the mashed potatoes. You do the stuffing. The, the stuffing, dude. If you have a good stuffing, I mean, when else do you have stuffing other than Thanksgiving? That's I don't it. think I need time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. So stuffing, and then third, we we got to add a little greens in there. So, dude, Jacob's mom uh, used to always send a broccoli casserole with him when we when we were in the fraternity. He would yeah. bring a big old fucking, um, a big old uh, pan of that. So let's go with that. The bro- <laughs> broccoli casserole. <laughs> Dude, that thing That's is definitely is is his his mom's Mexican though, right? Yeah, she's Mexican, Hispanic. I don't know. I feel like my mom doesn't really make casseroles, dog. I don't know. I feel like anytime I hear casserole, it just reminds me of like broccoli you know, casserole. Let's friends. get some greens in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, we we yeah. just make like I. It's not my my third pick, but we make green beans. They're pretty good. But no, the, okay. where my mom makes you know her bread and butter is the fucking corn dog. My mom goes crazy on some corn, man. Is that, is, that your, corn. is that your pick? Yeah, some sweet corn. corn. She puts That's a little a good bit one. of pepper on it, bro. Street some corn? Butter. Not street corn. Oh, just it's regular just corn. corn. She 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 just cooks it differently. I don't know. Like I said, I don't in help the street. With <laughs> in the street. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but that shit's gas, dog. My mom really knows how to make corn. I mean, it's not well, impressive. What is it? What is it? Is it like corn in a cup or like like what is nah, it? Just dude, corn? it comes in a pan and you just scoop it on your plate. I don't know what the fuck she does. It's good. It's not, cor- it's not corn in the cob like 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 if you go to fucking no no it, no. It's not or? fucking that. It's not fucking yeah. It's not elote. It's it's corn. I just picture Same you shit. like I just picture you like goofy just. Get the corn out of my face! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's Jack Black from uh, what is it? Uh, Nacho Libre. Nacho Libre. Yeah. Uh, okay, so go with your last pick. My last pick, dog, is going to be Bonche. We make Bonche for Thanksgiving, and I... we also make it for uh, Christmas. Christmas. And yeah, yeah, dude, it just getting a little hot plate. My mom puts fruit in it, so we're over here munching, mm. drinking. It's good. I do like Ponche. Uh, I, I, to me, it's more related to Christmas. So I, it is, and it, it is. But it, I don't know. My mom just makes it because it makes me happy, and I'm never really in town. So you are the youngest brother. So I'm the baby. You dog. are the favorite. I definitely get You're spoiled. the baby. Yeah, yeah. 
What does a baby feel... want? Yo quiero ponche. Yo quiero... <laughs> and then I still, <laughs> I still ask for uppies. I'm like, uppies, uppies. My mom doesn't carry me anymore, dog. I'm too happy. She. But yeah, that's okay. that's gonna be my third pick. It's a, I don't know. I I like ponche. I just think it's more of a holiday drink. So. Your your draft Thanksgiving is not a so good, Jose. Your your sure. draft is not that good. All right, all right. Let's uh, see if yours is good. What's the last one for you? Did you already take mac and cheese? No. Fuck it. Let's take mac and cheese. Like a good. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were gonna say something better than mac and cheese. You kind of held on to it for a little. I, I, it's the first mac one. It's the first one good. that popped up. So, you know, like something so I don't even know what's the. You know when you stick the, the the spoon in and it makes that little noise of oh I don't even I, don't I know what mac and cheese you know what I'm talking like, about though when you're swirling yeah. that shit oh yeah yeah uh, oh I know what it sounds like no uh, <laughs> it is <laughs> I took you so long to pick up on that um it's good yeah. and I like it and my mom makes pretty good mac and cheese but I'm not mac gonna lie cheese. bro I have some friends you know, that are you black, know bro and their parents dude the fucking way they make mac and cheese I'm like dude. I really wish I got invited to a black Thanksgiving because I feel like their Thanksgiving food looks so fucking good. With like bacon good, bits? Dog. Yeah, dude. They, I feel those? like they, they just make really good food, man. And I, I want to get invited to one of them. Or <laughs> or um, the the fuck, dude, the 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 lobster one. Have you had mac and cheese with lobster? No, dude. I'm from the hood, bro. <laughs> I barely had mac and cheese. <laughs> Let alone mac and cheese with lobster in it. You know, you know, you know who has good mac and cheese? Uh, Annie's, the the have you uh, at the grocery store? Annie's, Auntie no. Anne's, no. <laughs> Auntie Anne's, no. That's the pretzel place. One of those, <laughs> the purple, the purple box. No, yeah, no. Auntie Anne's is pretzels. That's what I Dumbo. said. It was a joke, motherfucker. No, um, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I will say my I'll mom you, never really bought link. like store bought shit. We usually made everything at home, so that's why I don't know. I I just don't like I like craft like the the macaroni with the fucking uh, designs and and shit. Oh, I get the SpongeBob and the, one. the funny thing is, but they never look like the the shit that they would like the characters. It just looks yeah. Like if a you saw it, just looks like macaroni. scribbles. Yeah, they look, yeah. I, I will. Like, I'll give them an A for effort though. I'll give them an A for effort because yeah, you get the cool box that has SpongeBob on it. I'll take. I'll pay. 50 extra cents. My mom never did, but I would. That's how they get you. Yeah. That's how they get you. <laughs> Jose. It's time Toast, for... is, it, is that that time, dog? Highs and lows. Highs and... I went first last week. It's your turn. Mm. Re- Bro, <laughs> Have you seen that meme of like this girl? She was like, I went on a first date with this guy. And he I told you. I sent you that. Impression. And I now, I, now I got the ick, and now I read that, bro, and literally, bro, I did the Scooby Doo laugh. <laughs> after, <laughs> oh my god, damn, dude! I wonder how many people have scared off. I, 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 um, I wonder how many, like, how many, like, there's so many shit, like, there's so much shit that we as guys do. The Scooby Doo one is probably like one of my favorite ones. Like the Scooby Doo voice, like, well, um, whenever. I remember when I when I was dating in college. Yeah. Whenever the person I was dating with, like she was just chewing me out, like rah, 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 rah. you don't care, you don't pay attention, rah, 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 rah. and then I like I wouldn't be paying attention, so I'll just go. <laughs> <laughs> That'll end somebody's Arr? momentum so fast. Arr? What do you say? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> or if everyone's confused, bro, I like to fucking oh. go raggy. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're in uh, they're in chapter meetings. Whenever like somebody, somebody did that to me when I was like going over some like new bylaw changes or whatever, and and I was like, does everybody understand? Are we good? And then somebody in the back, ar ar ro ro. Here we go. Highs and lows. Highs and lows. <laughs> Uh, bitch, it's your turn. You go first. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll start with my low. Uh, because I woke up this morning, took Archie for our, our morning walk. Weather looked good. It fucking poured when I got to work, dude. As soon as I got to work, <laughs> it started raining, and I'm like, fuck, dude. I didn't bring a jacket. I don't have a fucking umbrella. It's LA. It hardly rains. 
And so I was like, whatever, I'm in the office. Thank God I didn't get any of the rain in the morning. Cause like it literally, as soon as like I opened the door to work, it got cloudy and it started raining. And so on, on my way back home, um, as, as I was waiting for the bus, it fucking started pouring, dude. And I was like, fucking shit. Were you under like an awning or anything? No, I, I was like under a tree, so I wasn't getting wet too much. But then when I when I got off the train here uh, in downtown, when I was walking home, like there's no shade or no nothing protecting me. So I was just walking in the rain. And I was I wasn't drenched, but I was I was still pretty soaked. You know? I was I was moisturized. You know? I was moisturized. <laughs> yeah. So I uh yeah um that sucks, man. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, no, the, the, it's it's supposed to rain the next couple um, days, weeks. I don't know. It's it's rainy season in LA is is, is coming. Yeah, uh, according to meteorologist tracking El Nino, El yeah. Nino watch. Um, but no, we'll see. Um, hi though, hi. I was thinking about hey. this. Uh, because oh, and also another low. I'm, I was really having FOMO and jealous of everyone at fucking Worst Ooh, Fest. Yeah. Everyone, everyone, everyone that went there and posted videos and posted the fucking worst caption ever on the worst behavior, uh, worst it. I'm I, like corny ass fucking captions, but still so jealous, so jealous. Anyways, um, hi. I was on a fucking losing streak in fantasy. And I'm telling you, dude, fantasy sports, I fucking, I love them and I hate them. I yeah. fucking love them and I hate them. And, dude, I've just been on a fucking losing streak, just losing, taking the L, blah, blah, blah. Here you go. Maybe you're just a loser. No, no. But I okay. I, uh, I finally won. I broke a three, three losing streak. I'm back, baby. We're going to the playoffs. Let's go. CJ Stroud, dude, he's looking good for the Texans. CJ Stroud, some say. MVP, no, not MVP, Rookie of the Year. Yeah. Some say, I Let's heard. Get to the end of the year. Let's get to the uh, end of the year. No, he's doing phenomenal. It feels great, like watching football and not like the past few years for the Texans have been a stinker. It's been a fucking shit show where I would, I don't even oh, watch yeah. the games. I love, I love whenever people would from Houston would talk shit about the Rangers. You know, you know, I was thinking about this, Jose. I think that's why. I, I. I I think I found the root to why Houston has beef with Dallas, and it's the Cowboys. Yeah, dude, because we're because you guys shit. had all that success in the nineties, and the seventies. Some success in like the early twenty tens, no, bro. No, no, Romo. no, no, yeah, no, 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 twenty sixteen with Elliot, no, no, bro. No, yes, no, sir. Nope, nope. The only time the Cowboys have been really Wait, successful was, was in the nineties, but uh, but now I was thinking about it because because some because when the Rangers won. They're like uh, the Houston Texans are the only professional franchise in the state of Texas that hasn't won a, 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 championship. a, a fucking championship. I was yeah, like, ah, but we, we're a young franchise, but I'm like, fuck, we're coming up to like 20 plus years. I, I don't think that we could yeah, use that excuse. Not that anymore. young anymore. Yeah. So it's been a rebuild year for the last 20 years. I feel like. Was that? A, I don't even. Want, I don't even watch football. That's a zinger. I don't even watch football, and I heard that. That's, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I'm back on fantasy. We're going to the championship, I think. Yeah. I hope. Um, yeah. So that was good, though. I, I, when I won that shit, I was like, yes. That's yes. That's good, man. That's good. Uh, okay. Your turn. My high. I know some people are not, uh, aren't in Texas, man, but I had the time of my life at Worst Fest, brother. We went in this year, bro. We got a house. We had... 20 plus people there staying at the night. Mm. Everyone brought bottles. Everyone brought drinks. Everyone bought that's, that's, food. That's and, that's dangerous. Bringing bottles to worst ways. No, no, we didn't bring it. You know what I'm saying? To no, the no, house no, I know, we I know, I know, but like like using bottles to bring in a worst way? No, like, and it is dangerous. Food. And it, it, it could turn into a shit show. But that's why it's such a high uh, hater. Let me finish my fucking story. Because no one had any drama. No one fought. It was all oh, good vibes the entire good. time. We That's good. left. We went to the square the first night. Had the a great time. Uber was a little expensive. Really? Got back. 
stayed up till like four in the morning, chopping it up with the homies. You, we usually don't all hang out together. And yeah, great time. Next day, same shit, even bigger after party. And bro, it's just one of those yearly traditions that I hope keeps going on for the next couple of years, bro. Especially with the friend group that I have that it was great. And then what is the cherry on top of seeing people that they thought they were cool in life and moved away to different states. And they're like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm in L.A. And I actually like L.A. weather because it's always sunny over here. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm over here like, eat a dick, L.A., bro. Y'all don't have fucking never, pictures. Y'all don't have a pork chop on a stick. Yeah. I never said that. I, I know I, I wasn't talking about you. No, whatever. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Wait, I wasn't talking about you though, dude. But yeah, no, that was uh that was a very uh good high for me, man. Um, low. Yeah. Low. I got my uh, my car fixed for the hell damage. Um oh, I think Your it was like three scam, weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. And you know, everything was all dandy and sweet until I got people in my car the other day. And they got into the back seat, and I noticed that the motherfuckers that because you have to take off the roof or there's some shit yeah. to be able to fix the fucking dents on the roof. They didn't fucking attach the straps back, dog. So and also, hanging? yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the straps are in in the cup holders or like the little fucking you know shit on the door, a little indent on the door. And I don't have fucking my shit, so I have to go get it fixed. And also, I was like, dude, I can't open my gas tank anymore. But, yeah, they also had to, like, I guess unwire the wire because, like, whenever I had – you can't just open it. You have to, like, pull a lever to Damn, open my gas Damn, I hate tank. that. And, yeah, dude, they didn't reattach the wire. So, I've literally – every time I'm going to get it at, at a gas station, it looks like I'm breaking into my car because I have to, like, shimmy my fucking knife in there. And it looks like I'm, like, murdering my car. And that's I have to go up. get that fixed. Yeah, and I have to go get it fixed Saturday when I have a photo shoot that same morning. And, yeah, it's some bullshit, but. Yeah, that fucking is, sucks. Yeah, I don't know. But they're going to do it. I hope they don't think I'm going to pay for that shit. But you shouldn't. They fucked that. that. Dude, I, like, when you go take your car to oil changes and shit like that, and they fuck up something, they forget to put in a screw. Oh, that's then not the, them, baby. Shit yeah. like that just happens. Dude, I fucking hate. I, I hate lazy mechanics. That, yeah, dude, it's some bullshit. But we'll and, see. We'll see, man. And it, and, and it might not be that they're shit. lazy. You're just half assing it. They might have. Yeah, they might have just forgot. I, I I don't I don't hold them to it. They were. It's a busy season for Hills. Lazy season. mechanics. No, I'm just yeah. kidding. I'm kidding. Mechanics are not lazy. I I I love all mechanics. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Fix my car, please. <laughs> Fix my car. All right. That's it. I, uh, just a reminder, everyone. Uh, give us a follow on TikTok and on uh, Instagram at yeah. Tube Talks, T-O-O-B-T-A-L-K-S. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're also on Spotify. And if you want to watch us on Spotify, you could also watch us, the videos on Spotify, videos on YouTube, Baby DATL. If y'all want to follow us on YouTube, uh, the go for it. The only one's listening, dog. And, uh, and we'll go from there. Yeah. I think that's Thank the episode. Oh, no episode. No episode next week. Yeah. Don't fucking sleep tight because the next one's going to be a banger. Hopefully, you're we're fucking hyping it up. We shall see. We'll, we'll discuss the topics. All right. That's the episode. Have a good day, guys.